first day that I've been out of the house um, since last Monday. So, uh, I don't know, do the math. Oh, that's a week. Uh, just dropped Oregon off at school. Um, I realized that the outside world is highly overrated. So, um, pretty much going to figure out how to stay inside um, the most in my life now. This is my new life adjustment. Um, the world's full of ticks anyway that bite you and make you really sick. And then diseases like bronchitis that I've had for 10 days now. <coughs> and, um, yeah. And it's really cold out here. Fuck this. Yeah. So I'm just going to figure out how to live a life of a awesome isolation and um, I'll just uh, spend time with you guys on the internet. I think it's going to be fine. All right. Uh, ah, ah, look, I'm bleeding. Ah, with Hashimoto's, thyroiditis, chronic active Epstein-Barr, bipolar type 1, PTSD, alcoholism, and Lyme disease. <laughs> The only place that I can get my provigil is Costco. And, uh, because my insurance doesn't cover it. Because it's like $700 if you get it through insurance. But if you get it at Costco, it's $52 without insurance. Huh? So I've been in bed for 11 days. I got out of bed today to get my hair washed. I paid somebody to wash my hair because I realized I've been in bed for 11 days so I haven't spent that much money. And I was like, you know what? I can spring for a blowjob. So I get it, guys. Sometimes you just need to feel good and you need a blowjob. So I got a blowjob. And I look pretty. I still feel like the walking dead. <coughs> I got the kids to school. The kids. The one kid to school this morning. I went back home. Did the dishes. And started to do a grocery list. And fell asleep for five hours. Oh goody. There's Christmas shit at Costco. Only way to make Costco more shitty it's to be Christmas time at Costco. <sighs> I fucking hate Costco. There's a line at the pharmacy. This is not good. So here's a fun game is um, to see if they're gonna treat me like a drug addict even though I am one. They usually, um, this is a con controlled substance that I get. Um, this is the only way that I function. It's called Provigil. I take the generic, is it Madonna? Mod Madonna Phil or something? Mod Motor? I don't fucking know. And um, uh, there's a few other people I know with Lyme that take this. Um, it literally, it's not like Adderall. It just like makes you not fall asleep in your soup. But uh, it is a controlled substance and so sometimes they're like, it's pretty funny. It's not very often, but sometimes they look at me like, oh, 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 oh she's a fucking drug addict. She's just trying to get drugs. Costco doesn't have a prescription. Thank you. Hi. Oh, I just sat on the phone. Hi, how are you? With my doctor's office. No, they're calling Costco. I'm sitting at Costco. I feel like I'm gonna die. How are you? Good. How are you? So okay. tired. Yeah, he's busy today, huh? Yeah. Which is God's good. Never it makes us run Yeah. An hour later, an hour later, an hour later. Got it! An hour later. Now I'm late to pick up my kid. <clears throat> and it's dark outside. And then I'm walking to my car and I hear smoochy. Smoochy smooch, right? like that and I'm like cool someone's hitting on me rad classy and so I look over nobody's in the front seat of the car I look closer in the back seat of the car is an old man possibly 80 years old maybe 90 making kissy faces at me 
I love Costco. This is how I feel about Costco. This bronchitis has lasted longer than several of my ex-boyfriends. Lemon balm is used as an anti-spasmodic, calming, anti-anxiety, and sedative nerve. Um, it should be considered in cases of insomnia due to nervousness, depression, or irritability. I don't find it to really relax me that much, but I have a lot of neurolime, which means I have a lot of, you guys probably heard this before, I get a lot of like involuntary twitches. Like they won't go at the same time. that will just be like, Bleh! and then like, like in like all of a sudden my muscles will flax and all of a sudden I'll kick, you know, I'll kick out and then all of a sudden I'll get like a little Parkinson's -y. Um, and it's just, it's, it's lime stuff because the spirochetes get just everywhere they get in your organs they get everywhere that's why I'm really 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 happy that I'm doing SOT and that I have not done antibiotic therapy because from what I've learned antibiotic therapy the spirochetes kind of go oh antibiotics and they hide and then they're like they're like hey it's cause clear Frank and they're like yeah Frank it is it's totally clear and then they're like hey let's come back out and play again and then you've destroyed your gut flora and then you're gonna get a whole host of other issues <sighs> but antibiotics work if you catch it right away but I have um I've had Lyme for 45 years so and antibiotics are really gonna do much but SOT actually does get actually inside each of the spirochetes which is like amazing and you can actually watch videos and see what's going on inside of my body it's fucking crazy i showed matt and he was like could you turn that off <laughs> anyway um that's it for uh, this morning uh that's your little uh tea lesson um i'm just gonna do like little fun stuff about like what i've learned and it might be lame for you and if so then it's lame, but if it's helpful, then I'm stoked. And um, no matter what, I love all of you and go spread some love today, okay? Like let's, <sighs> let's spread some love, okay? No spreading hate. Love, 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 love. Our world needs a lot of love, so go spread it. Later, Gators. Okay, <laughs> that guys are finally gone. I, I don't, I can't even show you guys. I'm just, I'm having involuntary movements and twitching and teeth chattering and like my foot is just going crazy right now and I'm bed ridden and um, it, it's just, it, it, it's just really crazy right now. Um, and I'm um, going to see a neurologist tomorrow or find out about a neurologist tomorrow and I think that um it's just like the boys just finally left the house so I could do this um but I don't know how I can set up my camera because then I'd have to actually get up um so you guys can see like I don't I, I can I can show you my foot here there's my foot oh there's my other foot oh my other foot's under there though you can't really see it they're just, it's just, just what they're doing. It's just what they're doing. Anyway, from what I've been told, I have I have late stage um, neuro Lyme uh, disorder, and uh, and I'm just my body's just like a little jumping bean. And uh, I took a really long charcoal and um, Epsom bath on Friday night, and ever since then I've just been a jumping bean. And um, I, this has happened before. This has happened before SOT. I'm seven weeks and uh, I'm seven and a half weeks post SOT, and um, I've had this before. Um, uh, but <laughs> and it's not even like really that scary. It's really annoying, um, and um, it's hard to think. Um, my husband's really freaked out, but. I'm going to go to see a neurologist. I, I don't think there's anything wrong. I think it's just Lyme. I really do. I don't think there's anything. I don't think it's Parkinson's or anything like that. But um, anyway, uh, I said I just wanted to check in because they've been home like watching me like all the time. <laughs> so that's it. And um, 
Matt wants me to get rid of my cat. Um, and, and, I, and I really don't want him, but there's like, he can give me like three different infections and, he, and, and I, I haven't been able to take care of him. And then when his cat box isn't taken care of, he goes to the bathroom in other places. And I don't know. My body's just freaking out. Freaking out. Please hit the subscribe button. There. And Bell. What? And Bell. And ring my bell. Please. <laughs>